What's going on guys? Me Phone 4 here, and right now it's Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals of the playoffs. Right now, this is where it gets things tough. Both teams are tied up at 1. Boston in Game 1, and the last game was the Carolina Hurricanes. But now, they are about to take on at Carolina for Game 3 and 4. The next commentary I will have is OJ along with the lover, lover commentary of the group. This time, it's Tutsu. And the third commentator for the center ice we have is Paintbrush. I'll be back with the full, full period of the game here for three star players and the total game statistic of game three. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your first game in Game 3 before tomorrow night's game, as it will be happening here with the Abs and Kraken at Clement Pledge Arena. Let's see how it goes. Take it away. It's Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals. OJ along with Test Tube and Paintbrush. This is the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. The matchup is about to be set here at PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina. And here we go! The puck is dropped and we're underway. The courtesy lineup is being here as follows. Well. We have is Jacob Slavin. Then we have is Seth Jarvis. From the outside of the wing, we have is Sebastian Ajo. Then we have is Mikel Burns. And then from the corner here, we have is Dekas. This, then we have is Slavin. The starting goaltender and Stetsukov right toward the right left wing. The starting goaltender is Frederick Anderson. In the Bruins side we have is Pat Forgeron. Then across from here we have across is Charlie McAvoy. Then it's Orlov right across from here. Brad Marcham with the puck right from the middle. And we have is the Brust. And the starting goaltender is Linus Olmark. Allmark is one of the biggest players in the, in the games of the offense. Last time he won for the regular season award winner, he was the one of the biggest men, along with Swayman. He knows he really done the best. But you can never get over this when you're in the comfortable gaming that they were already getting played out. This tough matchup is what they did. Every other team is a very successful job, and they always did. They never always give up. They never just got in the way with anyone else. Right for the pass, they make a shot, stopped made by Omar. Now we set the puck, burns, and the puck of the stick goes chipped off. And he'll have to replace a new one to get ones back. Here's Crunchy, right toward the left wing. And he has made a pass save by Anderson. Crunchy shot, stopped again by Anderson. He'll up here with a whistle for the start of 16.51 to go in the first period. Both teams are set, ready to take the face-off puck. The score's still even as right now, we are underway in North Carolina. Kalkinemi wins the face-off and he will give it off the pass to Kalkinemi, now back to Nekus. In the left wing, to the right. Nekus swings it over. Puck escapes the zone. Bad pass has been given and it was last touch here on the Bruins. They really have to start settling it down a bit. They really are trying to attack it too much. They have to try to find somebody else. And remember the last game. This one happens usually before. They try to win against the Florida Panthers. But the Panthers say they had enough. Here's Carlo. He will take it from here. And now Crunchy. The right wing. In the inbounding. Shot stop made by Anderson. Fast will give it over to Martin Nook. In the side. It goes down. Well, Kennedy gets the puck here and now to the Carolina and on the attack. Back to pass. Swing it over to Martin Nick. Here's Stahl right to the wing. Stick lifted. Now Boston Brewers will take their own end on the offensive center Braun. Now Fast will give it off. Pass to Martin Nick. Over the amount of sketchy. Pass to pass. With the shot. Pat saved up by Linus Omar. Now Fast will give it over here, in the middle inbound, that shot went wide. Rutherzi has the puck here, now will give it off to the Bruins in their own territory. In the Hurricanes, Fast gives it over to Stepan. One on one opportunity! Carlo has the puck here, now Frederick will give it over into the offensive side. 
Frederick on the move. In the inbounding. That's the flick it off of D. Holland. The on, right over to get the shot seat. You sketchy, you'll take it over into the offense zone in the middle. Toward the right. That pass is broken up and it went right by the neutral faceoff zone. Yeah, that pass is not good at good over the connection. It really has a hard time to like try to stay inbounding. Nobody has the right choice to go from here. They've got to go for help. Coyle had the puck here. Now the Bruins will take it over from their side of the, of the rink. Frederick will take it over from the offense run. And Nosen will take the puck steal. Here's Shatsy, right toward the left wing. Goes down and Coyle back to Carlo. Boston on the attack, looking for room. Coyle shot! Rebound it up, saved me by Anderson. Nosen went down there in the neutral offense zone. All off with the puck. Now here's the Bruss. 2 0 one attack! Hit off the defender, that stayed out. Got a spear. Fallon with a loose puck in the chain. Marchand comes out to save the puck and keep going with the inbound. Right behind the net. Here's McAvoy. Back over to DeBrus. The stick lift is being broken up and Svechikov will recover it. It's always keeping a good in offense run. You get it clean, the defense is out. A huge stop save by the goaltender. Patrice Bergeron right into the right wing. Fires it from across. Still stopped again by Anderson. Carolina on your move, motion attack. Martin will have the puck swinging by. Svechikov has the puck here. Now pass to Dion with just 10 minutes to go in the first period. It's still a no score game. Orlov back to McAvoy and now here's Greer. Greer right toward their motion. Irvine will take the puck over and now in the offense zone to Nekas. Nekas moves around the offender. McAvoy will take it over from here and now Nozick. On the attack motion here in the neutral offense zone. Moves around the middle. It's blocked by Burns. Now Kennedy with the puck. Still on the attacking run looking for a score to get a first one in game three. And a Nekas shot. Stopped by the goaltender. That backs to Nozick on the puck inbound. Keep the puck alive, and now it's Hathaway with the shot. That goes up to the glass. Greer with it now. McAvoy up in the front of it. Good pot save by Anderson. Nozick's got the puck. Boston run. Stopped again by a goaltender. And we have a delay penalty call. That will be a slashing on, on the offensive player of Nozick. You can't just really slash on the player like that. That's when you notice he's in the penalty box. That will be the first one to be in for the start of game three. To keep the runs in offense motion, Pasternak has a snipe ability to take right through this offensive line. He can try to keep his range on the open side of his offense. Sebastian Ago has a third eye ability that you go from the inbound take for adding the other player to go with an open pass. He keeps an eye on it with a good accuracy passing with the third eye in between by the zones. This is a tough team that everyone's been facing. I'll be keeping an eye on Sebastian Ago for the power play. Back to you guys. Gonosphere will have the puck here with only 7.09 to go and the power play is on. He's got your clock into the zone. Nozen keeps the puck in, in bounding. Sasha flings it out and it will carry into the carrying zone. Carolina regroups the puck here and now it goes back to Ago. Ago passes to Stachikov. Stachikov lost the puck and now Coyle will have it over. Swings it out. Regrouping the puck is Sebastian Ago. Gardner will take it over to Nozen. In the entry zone, by passing the blue line, knows it's shot, it's stopped by Omar, holding with a huge save. That keeps Rene Omar to go out of trouble with the sight. They really have a lot of them to make precision. They really are starting to go big. They need something else to try to like keep him out of here. Now the win for the Kings. Scudgy shot, it's blocked up. He's almost ready to get out of the penalty box for Nozick. Jarvis has the puck. Power play is over. Sketchy got chopped up. 
they really are well enough. I may have to tell you that they were really that clear. In that case, they really are starting to go over with the inbounding and try to keep the puck out of here. But great job with defenders, they really keep it out of here with no questions at all. They really want that one to keep it out. Now for the win, the Kennedy shot. It stopped, the Kennedy! Oh, the same man comes up by Linus Allmark with 5.30 to go. Now both teams are set, about to take the next face off for the puck drop. The Hurricanes will regain their position. Stahl has to recover the puck. New Jersey does the puck in and now it goes the other way. Chester Fast battling for the puck free. Stahl burns back the outside. In the middle, it's broken up. Frederick gives off to Bertuzzi. He goes firing around toward the net. Now Coyle will give it over to the offense. In the motion! Oh, the big stopping save inbounding for the goaltender to Kane. Suck up, piece of it, and stay out of here. Now for the loose puck of a chain. Frederick recovers the puck with only 4.10 to go. Jersey with the puck there with a 2 on 1 offense. That's stopped again by, by the defenders. He gives it over to Fox. Moves it quickly over to Slavin. Now here's Stahl right toward the way. Offense round picking up Steve. Kuro takes the puck away. He's on a head of head run. That's broken up. Jarvis with the puck and now in the onside with the one on man rush. Stays him out. Jarvis passed. Boy, look. Oh, he went down very hard. And with that defensive player, good stop by Olmark. Yeah, they're really a calling for it because Mario got slammed very hard. I don't know what to say about this, but if he really has to send a medical call, I'm hoping he's surely okay. Here's Svechikov right toward the middle. The offense over the tag. Marchand with the puck. Now Pat Bergeron will take it over. Keeps him out for his sight. Now Slavin will have the puck here with only the offense with only two minutes to go. Such a call, right toward the middle. Orlov takes the puck away. The offense keeps it alive as Carlo gives it over to DeBrus. Boston passes the puck back and forth. Martin shot, save me by Anderson. The Hurricanes regain the group with the puck. Now in the open zone to fire it out. And then in too much traffic to put up that opportunity. Skeji goes offside and went tumbled down. With the score being leveled out, it's still no score in the game. We're under one minute to go in the first period. Jersey wins the faceoff. Now they're in the offense zone, picking up the rush. Touch with the crunchy, with the fire shot. Rebounding this off the target and stopped by Anderson. Keep that in mounting because there's nowhere else that you're going to try to like, keep it right side here. Nose recovers the puck. Stop the bad save. Step out, reviews it, and knows it. Didn't really get it up that point as Olmark makes another save. We're down to the wire right now. We're under 10 seconds to go. No score here. So Kennedy wins the faceoff. Rebound it! And Crunchy takes it out. Oh boy, he's very that hurt. That's a tough one to be out there. Stop the high goal tender. And that will end the first period. A lot of back-to-back -back face off with the, with the war attack. We'll get right into the second period after this break. You're watching the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals on EA Sports. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Stanley Cup Playoffs of the Eastern Conference Finals. About to start off the third, second period. Here we go guys, this is the second period as we start. With the take of the first period, let's, have, let's say how they did as right now Test Tube stands by. They're really getting into it authentic right now. They really have been trying to do a lot of the passing moment. This offense is really trying to be that deep, but penetrating what everybody does. They really try to like stay out of the target zone. They wanted to make that one clear and then try to keep it over it. They don't have much time to like keep it right into the offense zone, 
but keep it this way. They really want it. They're off to a better offense, and they really are trying to like keep it on hard to take over the, the line. The pressure is definitely very that tough. But don't be offense if you're about to be taking the offensive run. Anderson, what a pantable save! He's really that good. Definitely tough enough then, you know. The face officials are getting ready to get the face off puck drop. And right now, we're just only 19.01 to go for the start of the second period. McAvoy went down. The shot went down wide. Tomas Malco gives it over to Slavin. Slavin trying to reach it over to Krusty Jarvis. Jarvis had a move over to get into Snutchikov. Snutchikov plays the pass to Hoffman. Show rebound! He scores! So, Jarvis rebounded it and put him a 1 0 big lead. It's great passing. It's a good one for Sebastian Ajo to leave it up on the mark. They really keep up with a good target there. That's what you notice. The first assist puts up a Sebastian Ajo. Great book of the rebound. They were really trying to it. And then with that one, Yarvis got it right away. Great stop here for Frank Anderson. And now he will have the puck back. It's Petrikov. Gives a pass to Sebastian Ajo. Fire the run it. That stopped it up by Omar. Something again, he scores! Snatchikov with the rebound, and that's two in a row for the three in a rebound, saving block. Well, you know that Snatchikov, he's really that well into the target out there. I mean, you can't just, like, get rid of it. You just really want to make that one, like, complicated. Now the winning faceoff for Boston is on the run. Fires around the net. Holds a puck in lining in the corner. Sacha! In the middle! Almost went turning over. But Tara Vinen has the puck inbounding. Slams down and Pastadas will take the puck here. Now he rolls past the blue line. Around the middle offense. Slavin puts up a lockdown defense. Tara Vinen over to Slavin. Now back to Gannick Kennedy. The Kings are back in the offense zone. He went down. Burns takes the puck over to Kalkinby. Excuse me, Kalkinby. Keeping the puck alive is Coyle. The puck is out of the, re out of the zone, and they'll have to regroup the puck here, and now they're back into the offense zone. Nankis recovers the puck. Pull it back in the mound there, ball. Oh, man, that big stop for Omar, and he didn't have the right moment to do it again. Well, that's because of Omar. He was staying and mounting. He didn't really want to like leave him out. Officials are getting set. You're about to drop the puck. 2-0 is the Carolina score in the second period. Carolina wins the faceoff. What a block! Marina goes blocked out, and it's too many men in the offenders away. Frederick trying to go around the corner. With the shot! Stop made by Anderson! Pass gives it over to Martinuk. Martinuk racing down towards the other side. Goes to the inbound of all. That's stopped again. Now here's Paterzi. He will give it over to the offense side. Fires around the net. Sketchy has the puck. Now give it over to Fox. Frederick with the puck. Then a stopping save by Anderson. Just about 14, 40, 14 to go in the second period. They're still on the goods run for Carolina. As right now, the officials are getting ready for the next faceoff puck drop. If you're turning with us here for the next part of the game of the NBA playoffs, stick your eyes open right now as there will be game five between the two teams. In between the Celtics and the Cavaliers back at TD Garden, that will be happening here on Friday at 8.30 p.m. Then following along on Saturday night's primetime game, right here on primetime, will be the next one to be coming in in the hook. And the wire, of course, is in between between the two of the Avs and Kraken for Saturday night's game after the NBA Conference Finals. That will be only on Son of Beast, so make sure you watch that. A pad save here by Omar, and now we'll change it over to the Brooks. The Brust finds Marchand. Marchand swinging it over, getting the Bergeron. 
Bergeron moves around toward your man offensive run. Put an inbound away by a goaltender. They're really on to a big start. I think the Carolina Canes, they are a very tough team. We know the real game didn't really work for them. And that's why the Florida Panthers, they want to sweep them. And they say, Tampa Bay Boats, I'm glad that they're out. Because they weren't really well enough and they were not ready to do this one again. But this was a tough rival team in the Stanley Cup playoffs game. And a delay penalty call for the slashing on the Boston Bruins. And Dion, shot saved me by, by Omar. And Merchant has the puck. Now they will get a slash. In the penalty box is Jake DeBrusque. He's still trying to keep it out of here. It's not by the need, but it's not what you were going to try to like keep him out of the range sight. That's what DeBrusque does. He can't let it get away. Power play on now for the Carolina Hurricanes. Got a win for the Hurricanes. Conister will give it over to Svechikov. Fires it along. That's close call right up by Omar. Puck clears out to the net and now will fire around the net. Goddesphere will take it over to Ajo. Ajo trying to give it over to Goddesphere. Now here's Svechikov. Trying to move around the angle. In the inbound to Nozen. Shot saved maybe by, no, by Omar. They'll bring it over to their territory. Now Burns will have it here with only one minute in the power play. Spencer call right around the man. The offense line still out of behind. Fouling for the loose puck in the chain. Buck throws it up. Burns in the middle. Where the one angle? He scores! It's a power play goal for the Carolina Hurricanes. That's when you know that Brent Burns really have it around the man. He definitely had it off. I got a great replay for this one. Brent Burns really turned it away. And then he's right around it. One time and in. That's what Brent Burns does. He made that one a great move in the offense chain for their power play run. He waits around and he had that one shot right in. I'll be keeping an eye on here if he gets another goal in the playoffs of the postseason. Back to you all. Anderson holding the puck here with only 9.53 to go in the second period. Teams are ready to take the face off into the offense zone. Carolina extends the lead 3-0 over Boston. Now Boston wins the face off. Kicks the puck out of here and now the Hurricanes will have their possession. Martinuk will have the puck here. Fires it saved by Omar. Martinuk resets, stall. Good stop by Omar. You're gonna need to keep that one eye on it because Omar really has to like keep right at it. Don't leave it out of here. They're really onto an offense. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off in the offensive spin bounds for the face off. Now a win for Bergeron. Now former will take it over to Bergeron. Now he gives it over to Bird, Brad Marchand to DeBrus. DeBrus to Marchand shot. That one time it went off the pad and right toward the wall. Turbine and right towards the offensive side. Goes down and in though. McAvoy will have the puck here now. Give over to Forbert. The Bruins wake their way to their offense zone. Firing around the net. Now the Hurricanes will have their puck possession and Terravine on the attack. With the full sprint, shoot, and stopped again by Omar. Orlov back the other way now. Give it over to Greer. Oh, Zacha got a little bumble down already. Well, it looks like the offender was getting a little bit wounded up. But can't just get rid of him. You don't get tough for this one. What a play knockout. Coyle over to McAvoy. Give over to Hathaway. Hathaway right around the man. Good stop by Jacob Slavin. We're approaching down seven minutes to go in the second period. Slavin shot stopped again by Omar. McAvoy recovering the puck. We're in the offense zone to pick up the speed. Now Burns will have to reset their group on the off offensive side. Now Nozen's back in their possession. Trying to move around it. Chelsea shot. Had a save by Omar. 
Orlov over into the offensive court corner, and now it's Nosen. Oh, bumbled out. Hit the pad by here by Olmark to try to deflect it. He's easy. Don't want to have that one being possessed. Frederick will fire around the net. Still looking for a goal for Boston Bruins, but they are still under under pressure. Under siege right now is Stepan. Fired around the net. Orlov has the puck. Now give over to McAvoy. McAvoy on the attack. Trying to keep the center and alive. The coil shot! Pat out with a save by Frederick Anderson. Rolling inbound, right back the other way. Fast. Passes to Marta with the one-time shot. That stopped and saved by the goaltender. Boston still looking for their goal. Now Coyle. Move around the Pasternak shot and stopped by Anderson. Martinuk with the puck now give off the stall. No penalty call on Boston. Oh wow! Now Anderson really got there in the first place. Keep an eye on that because Anderson really had it off. Officials are getting set here about to take the puck drop. The Canes have a free nothing lead. Avo wins the draw. Skoji and Spetsikov will have it over with the offense run to pick up their end. In the head, Spetsikov. Lindholm scuttled across here, now back to Zacho. Fans are disagreeing them. Avo has the puck recovery with only 3.20 to go. Avo racing toward a man. Charles with the shot. No rebound saving put made by Zabasadavo. Pasternak's right into the offense slot. Trying to attack him and now Krejci up in the wing. In the center right now, Krejci. Skerji with the good stop. 2.40 to go in the second period. Now up is the other way. Pasternak's back again as Acho. Now here's Krejci. Krejci gives the pass to the back to Carlo. Now here's Pasternak's. Pasternak went down right over the blue line. Oh, oh, oh. they were really on top of that one. They can't lose it. Skedgy will have the puck here with the offense run. Now pulling it back the other way. He gives out the Svechikov again to Jarvis. Here's Jarvis right toward the right wing. Pass to Stoll. Shot. Stop again by the goaltender by Omar. Leaving it behind the net, Svechikov. Pesk recovers the puck here. Now back to Stoll. Here in the final minute of play in the second period it is a three to nothing lead. Zancho moving quickly, and it went almost near the netting. A big bad stop by Frederick Anderson. Now back to Fast on the other side. Here's the brust. Zancho's off of the ice. Now pass to Marchan, and their team went offside. That's what nobody wants to do. They can't just go outside of the call when the man's inbounding. Gotta like stay out of it if you can. Carolina wins the faceoff. Oh man, almost went top down. Michael Boy. In the middle! Save! Oh my goodness, Anderson just made it there in timing. That really doesn't stand it out, because if you don't have it right, you're out of it for your own time. A end of the second period. What a great hustle for Kings. We'll be right back after this. Hey everybody, B Phone 4 here, and just a quick reminder that we are having to, we have another one to take you down for your cast to make your selection. Leave your comment box here below but to find out which team do you want to see the next to play in season three on NHL on EA Sports. All you have to do is just leave a comment here below for the selection is all yours if you have your right option to pick yourself a favor. Bruins can take on against the, the next matchup against the Pittsburgh Penguins or the other team that we're looking at for Canadians they could be facing against the Winnipeg Jets or there could be another change up here that the Devils may face against the New York Rangers with a Hudson River rival matchup. Or Flyers can take on against the Florida Panthers. There's one way you can make an option. So feel free to leave your comment box below. 
as right as this always, there's more time left before the end of the month here of September. So you still have more time to think about it. If you have the answer down, leave your comment box here below. It will be on the community tab here. Make sure you have that one right. Other teams that are the same, Carolina versus, versus the Boston Bruins or Bruins or the Canes against the Islanders will not count. That will be the different games that you will have to try to leave it down. You have to leave yourself in the comment box below just only one of each teams. Keep your eyes up there, there might be more on your way. Anyway, let's head on back down to OJ at PNC Arena. One more period to go. The Canes are looking for a lead of 2-1 in the series. And stay tuned for the new episode of the Anime Insanity Invitational. That'll be the last one before heading into the show of the BFDI and Anime Insanity Experience. Back to you guys. See you all later for the post game. It's about that time. The third period is where we finish here in game three. And here we go. All set to go. It's been a fantastic night as we all salute to the fans. Let's have the recap look between the Hurricanes of how so many shots were being taken. They were really that tough and amatic about it. I have to say that Sebastian Agro really got a shot out of it, but the other team, I, other player I saw was Seth Jarvis. He had that first one right there, and then it's Snetchikov was the second one that had that one rebounding. And then after that, it was Brent Burns. These three guys are very that tough. They both had one goals, but nobody had that lead to take the two goals in the head. They're very tough though, but they never really wanted to get over it. They're very that tough that everybody's going to keep an eye on it. They have a lot of the courage, man. They wanted to do is just keep it going. Now for the face-off attack, ready to be here on the line for the face-off. Now the Boston Bruins will win the face-off here. McAvoy on the outside, and Svechikov will take it from here. The Hurricanes are back into the offense zone. McAvoy will take the puck here and now give it back to the Brooks. On the other side, the Brooks Bruger on shot. Hand it up! Rebounders would check it by the goaltender. That's a great play for Frank Anderson. He really has that one a lot of the turret combination to put it in there. With the stopping save, it's tough to keep it up. Good poke away by goaltender. Zacha recovering the puck and now give it to McAvoy. McAvoy alone will save by Anderson. Now Slavin will give it off to Nekis. Deep passing over to Kalkinami. Bozerak shot. Not closed it up here by Anderson to gobble the puck down. Now Kennedy still has the puck. Fouling for the loose puck on the board. The chain in between the Atlantic and Metropolitan Division of the Battle First Seeds are getting a little bit tough. And you know. Yeah, they're really the, in, in dramatic. But they didn't really want to like stop them. They've got to do this one again. Postodox give it over to McAvoy. Here's McAvoy. Right in the middle slot! That stayed out of it by the defender of the hockey stick. Now Burns. He will have his puck carried out to Fast. Fast back to Stall. Now kicks off to Fast again. Right down, right toward the board. Swing it along. More in shot. Stalled him up by Omar. Olaf with the puck now give off to Coyle. Coyle in the offense zone to pick up the run. And they've got their team on our side. Great stop by Jacob Slavic. Oh uh, yes, the defender is really doing good. But you can't just say, you can't leave, like push him out of here with the rough on the call and not even holding. Carolina wins the faceoff. Stick clipped it and Carlo will have it back. Flings it around the end. Now here's Pesk, you will have the puck. And unable to make the play connection work. Price had the puck back. Leaving it off the run. Idiot slot. Got it out of the way by Omar. 14.25 to go in the third period. 3 nothing lead still remains in the scoreboard. That's off the bay again by Anderson. That really has to be turning out because Anderson really does it all. He does best. If you're looking toward for the for the show, then there is one way that you can watch on live stream. The first location is the Sabian Media Center. 
here in Beverly Hills, California. That will be the first uh, first location that will happen here on, on June 25th on Sunday. If you can't make it already and you have your tickets down, well, you're in and you're ready to go. Enjoy your show. And if you're listening to this one here and watching on the live stream on the device, you can watch anytime. Free shows are all sold out. Be ready for anything. And for next month, the next location will be at Gerald W. Lynch Theater on July 8th. Carlo has it back over to Hathaway. Hathaway right toward the right way. Moving an inbound slot stopped again, and Skedgy will give it off to Nosehead. Knows it again to Pets. Now Pets will have the puck inbound. Carla will have it back. Deep it over to Hathaway. Hathaway around the man. Stopped again by Anderson. Knows it around it. And he scores. There's your first goal in the third period as now Nozick has four goals in the playoffs. They really have to try one. They're all alone. No shutout goals to make that one go up for the Bruins. Keep an eye on that. Nozick are really just putting in boundable. When he had that backhand right away, he was pulling it right across and right into Anderson. He didn't want to do this at the whole time because it was very tough to try to keep it out. But in all that case, it does mean Nozick has it a way to make that one pay for. I'll be watching him right towards on ice. Guys, back to you. Carlo back to Marchand with only 12 to go in the third. And Bergeron, backhand pass. Same game with Nozick, but it's stopped again by Frederick Anderson. Got a good glove save with only 11.50 to go. Still lots of time left for the Bruins to keep an eye on it. They have a 3-1 lead. Boston trail by two. Merger on the curl out. The boss shot. Rebound stop. And scores. How? Treese. Merger on. Reads a flexion in and ain't going back down by one. I have no other concerns about Patrice Bergeron. They're really just saying that you got to get the rebound. That's just a hard one to maintain, guys. When you have the puck inboundable, you just got to get one timing to go right toward the net. And Frederick Anderson didn't have enough time to like try to save it. And now their team is coming back. March on to Bergeron. Good stop by Frederick Anderson. They're still looking for the goal to tie the game. This could be a heavy matchup between the Atlantic and Metropolitan Showdown. Offsides the call on Carolina with 11.09 to go. Now they're ready to do it. A critical draw here between the two of Ajo and Bergeron. Now Ajo wins the draw again. DeBrus will have it now. On the Bruins attack! Round the man! Good stop by Jacob Slavin as he shows up. Marchand shot, stopped by Pest. Debrus shot, right away from the net. Scotty giving it off to Tvetrikov. 10.25 to go in the third period. Trying to strip the angle, and it's Omar with the stop. Orlov again to Debrus. The Bruins are on their way to make the attack and going to work. And it's stopped again by Pest to Svetikov. We passed the midway period. And Svechikov needs to find an open man. Looking for room. Oh, my God, Oh, that kicked him out. Svechikov again. Jarvis with the puck. The background. Diagonal pass went failure for the Hurricanes. Not, not enough to do it again. But the diagonal pass, you got to make sure you're open. Boston knows that. Chuck, stop. Bring it again. Anderson stopping a save. Oh man, the fans are just putting up a loudness rumble down for Anderson. This is what he does the best. I know. Typically on the range, you better believe him. Because he wants to like put a revenge on them to try to stay out. Orloff with the puck. Fired away. Pat saved me again. Half away, right toward the right wing, and now Orloff. Orloff the Mandalorian. Fires across. Deflected off the defensive player on Terravine and now caught Kennedy with the puck. Carolina on the attack into the Bruins territory. McAvoy has got it across in the offense zone. Pass broken up. Terravine trying to keep it back in there. Zacha back again. He went tumble down. 
That really has to be a like, like a hurricane wind. That's like taking down the Bruins' territory. In that case, they really have a lot of a defense to try to leave him from here. They aren't that tough. They're very that good. And keeping Zatcha out of here is a is a hackle. Pass it out, spins around. Burns takes the pass away. Zatcha shot, stopped again. Pass it out, and Burns got to deflect it. Crazy off of forward. Now finds Pasirox, fires the cannon, he goes off the chest again. Chessie with the puck now in 6.30 to go. Step on trying to keep in motion out. Pass to Chessie, that shot went off wide. Step on back in, pound is saved by goaltender. Touch all alone. Good stop by Jacob Slavin, but now he needs to keep him out. The Hurricanes are back into their offense zone to keep up their scores again. Chatsy one timer shot stopped made by Olmark. 535 left to go, step on. Denozen shot! Caught it saved by Olmark! 526 to go in the third period, still a 3 2 lead for Carolina. Lots of time left in between the two. 3 and 2. The next one could be a goal for Hurricanes or for the Bruins to tie this game. Slab it. Lost the puck here and now Stahl will have it back. Push him out of here. And stop saved by the goaltender. Rebound again by Omar. That's saved again and now we'll stop the rebounding with 5.06 to go. A critical draw here. Carolina wins the face off. That stopped again by the goaltender. Ruturzi's up in the offensive wing. Throw in the middle. Wired the way out and right toward the glass. That was a hard shot because he had it way that far. I don't know what to tell you this one, but they are really not going to have to help it again. Stop the puck inbounding and now it's Clifton. Clifton lost the puck and now we'll have it back. Pushes back. Now forward. Tips it back, and now we'll have to regroup here. Clifton over again. Now Coyle will have the puck here. Fire around the net. That puck goes out of play and ready for the faceoff. We do have a one winner to take from here, and we have Paintbrush standing by. Sebastian Ago is a very deliberation to do this one once again. He's like a good player. Keeping an eye on the rhythm here, and it's right now Sebastianago. He was well to make that one a lot more playful. He's doing a very well on the offense run to keep the score from upcoming. Keep an eye out there. There's more to come, and there are more to get it done. The round of man is stopped, and Pest gives it up. Jarvis with the puck, past the Pest. With under three minutes to go in the third. Three and two still remains. Ago trying to keep him out. Pass with the puck. Leaving it toward the onside on the man. Frederick has the puck away. To tie it up. Oh, the big stop. March and Bergeron. Hide it out. Keep it out of the net. They also loot to him. Keep it inside of this voice clear. They're really just saying that. Frederick Anderson really does have one with the save. Interesting to tell you, they got to get it done. March and back to DeBrus. And the penalty is called on Carolina. They will have the chance to tie it or keep it out. Brett Pest is in the penalty box. Penalty box really understands. Brett Pest is not really well happy at all. Well, he's already been showing it up like he's doing well. But however, he got him caught. Now it's their turn to do the power play goal. Bruins still has a lot that time not to give up with a minute and 44 to go. And Bergeron wins the faceoff. Crazy up, he scores! Wow, Crazy had that right timing. While the power play resumes, it is the power play goal for the Bruins. Definitely facing up because David Crazy had that one to make that hat trick motion. He got a go ahead goal. Got a really tough enough though, but you can't get rid of him. How are you going to keep it acting it up? Wow, I was very stunned of how they were doing it. And now they are tied up 
the next one could be it. I'm thinking overtime or go, go ahead goal in between the two. I can't compare which one is which. <laughs> Neither can I. Now here's Marchand with the puck. One minute left to remain in the third period. Anderson's going to hold it with right now with under a minute to go. Keeping the face off from here. We're now getting there closer to the end of the regulation period. Boston wins the face off. To win it! Rebound! Oh man, that is too close and good stop by Anderson. Kyle Kennedy lost the puck. Carlo takes it back to Kreji. Kreji slam it down. Keeps it for Pasternak. Kreji shot. He went down and Goddard will have it back. One on one offense at the run. Pretty insight. Lost the puck here and Pasternak will have it back. Try to keep him in his size, Carlo. And Kreji will have it here. Hurricanes trying to keep it out for the strike. Satcha and Gardasphere will have it taken out. Now Gardasphere will hand it over to Dijon and Nekas. Nekas swings it over again to inspect the comp to Ajo with 9 seconds. Gotta make a move! Save me by Elmar! And their team, we are heading to overtime. And that will end the year. So that leaves off with David Kreji with the power play goal. We'll be right back after this break. This all comes down to overtime in the third game of tonight's game. For a pride week of the day. It's still turning out to be a very successful run that they're keeping an eyes on. Especially when they are up to the face-off attack. They have a lot of them to keep the range on site. Two periods was turning to be Carolina, but now... Boston has it controlled. They are just bringing it back to just make a comeback in the third period. They really have it all down there, don't they? Mm-hmm. I know this was very that tough, but you can't just very say that the Bruins are very toughable. They want to destroy everybody like, it, like it's the Florida Panthers. But I don't think it may not be that tough at all because you can't just really say that they're really that tough. Well, as we're being honest right now, it all comes down to overtime. The next one could take the lead to the series of 2 and 1. Let's see what happens now to start it off. Overtime sets to begin now. Extra period about to begin. Game 3 overtime begins now. Right now, here's Bergeron. Keeping the puck out of here to range. Ava will give it back to Jarvis. Jarvis right toward down the attack. In the lineup move. That stopped again by Olmark. Now again, it's Marchand. The Boston Bruins are on the attack with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity range. Marchand. Pass broken up and it's deflected. And now here's Svetikov to Ajo. Ajo back to Slavin. Simon trying to look for an open run to Jarvis shot and saved by Omar. He's off for the whistle again with 18.49 remaining in overtime. Now they're set to go for the offense run. It's still a tie game. The next one is over. Bergeron wins the face off and Orlov will have the puck inbound. Keeping the puck alive is McAvoy over to Bergeron. Turbine in and the team went offside. They forgot to just try to like stop, but they shouldn't be get entering in after all the mans are cleared out from the offense zone. They shouldn't let that happen. They gotta make sure they make it clear and get right into this. Now over to win, McAvoy. Give the puck back over again to Marchand. Call Kennedy with the puck steal. Termina gets down to the corner of the wall and McAvoy will give it off again. Slam a man down and Orlov. McAvoy with the puck now finds DeBrus. DeBrus finding some room in the offense run. But the shot! Oh, it's stopped up by Anderson. DeBrus with it now. Almost went rebounded it, but still stayed up. Good job on the defenders. They gotta keep it out. Puck out of the shot! That shot went too wide and net burns will have it rebounded. 
Brett Burns to Terramine in. Pashadox takes it over. Giving it off to Zacha. Zacha on the way down toward the left wing. Quirgy with the shot. Rebound again. He scores! Game winner over Terrence for Carolina. Now the Boston Bruins extend it and back in the lead. You don't have the right choice because of Zacha. He had that game winning goal in overtime. That was game three. He did it all. Lights out, Pavel Zacha, an overtime winner, putting a rebound, and now it turns it over to be successful. Well, that's going to do it for now, as right now, OJ, along with Test Tube and Paintbrush, this has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals in Game 3. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for tomorrow's game of the Abs and Kraken. Have a great night, everyone, and get home safe. Alright, OJ, thank you so much. Time for three star plays of the game. The third star goes to Linus Ulmer, 44 saves in the game. Did turn out like he did. The second star goes to Andre Snutchikov with the goal assistant hit. Did have it all, and that was turned to be a rebound puck save. And your first star, a game winning overtime, goes to Brandon Carl. Giving up with two assists, seven hits, but a give off to Zacha on the run. Here's how he did with the total statistics of the game. 54 to 47 with the shots on goal for Boston. 29 hits for Boston over 15. 539 and 537 over Carolina. Then it was 90 passing percentage over 86 for Boston. 21 faceoff wins over 20 for Carolina. Two guys have a penalty kills, four minutes for Boston and two minutes for Carolina. Then it was a power play goal in between the Bruins and Carolina. They both have won, but no game lead for the power play goal for the Carolina or Boston. And their power play minute was 5 seconds for Boston. That was short. But 321 for Carolina. And that's going to do for Game 3 in Eastern Conference Finals. They have the extension of the series 2-1 to one over the Carolina Canes. We'll be back soon for the next week's game. And of course, we always can't forget about Santa Beast's birthday. It's getting there close, so Keep your eyes peeled on a, on a heavy look. Anyways, I hope everybody's enjoying your day, and summer is on its way. Peace out, folks, for a while as the Stanley Cup Eastern Conference Finals on EA Sports Style. This is me, Phone 4. I'll see you all tomorrow night for the Kraken and Abs at Seattle. Take care, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.